Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Monday Minor League Memories. This is the series where I share with you some in-person autographs that I received at minor league games in the past. Well, today, if you guys recall, I shared with you a Peoria Chiefs autograph set featuring Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg from the 2007 season. Well, this time I'm going to share with you the 2008 version of the Peoria Chiefs set. And I can't remember if this is the giveaway set. I don't think it is. This is the for sale set, but I also have a signed copy of the giveaway set as well. So, as you can see, Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg signed that card in nice big blue Sharpie. I was actually fortunate enough to be a season ticket holder at the time when Rhino was the coach there. So very fortunate that that happened at one point in my life. So I'm going to share with you the rest of the guys in the set. All right, this next one was a mega prospect. And this is the Cubs first round pick, Josh Vitters. And if any of you guys collected back around this era, you definitely know who this guy was. He was supposed to be the next big thing for the Chicago Cubs. Things just didn't work out that way. I would like to say I was extremely happy to get Mr. Vitters to sign all the things that he signed for me. He was a really good, you know, with fans signing autographs. You can imagine with Ryan Sandberg being the manager, this team was bombarded daily, whether they were on the road, whether they were at home, about signing autographs. Vitters was their big prospect. He was the guy that was supposed to be the next can't-miss, you know, Chicago Cub of the future. And as we all know, that didn't necessarily happen. Well, there was this other guy, ironically, that was on that team that was a catcher, of all things. And he would ironically be a third baseman of the future, just not with the Cubbies, and that is Josh Donaldson. So, as many of you know, Donaldson is now with the Minnesota Twins, but Donaldson definitely offensively put his name on the map a few years back as a third baseman, and he actually wound up being the bigger star over Josh Vitters. That's the ironic part. You just don't know sometimes. So, all right. Let me show you the rest of the cards that are signed out of this set. All right, so this next one is Alberto Cabrera. This is Kyler Burke, who was also a first-round pick, acquired from the Padres, if I'm not mistaken. And this is, I think, one of two in the set. And this is, where's he from? Is he Korean? Yeah. From South Korea, De Un Rey. And I actually have that one signed, which is pretty cool. Craig Muchko. Don't know much about him. Mario Mercedes. Jordan Latham. Jovan Rosa, who was a big time prospect for them for a little while as well. Marquez Smith. This, some of the uh, viewers may recognize this name. This is Chris Siegfried, who would later go on to be on the show The Bachelorette. And ironically, my wife, who enjoys watching that show, immediately recognized Chris Siegfried. And I can't remember if it was The Bachelor. Yeah, I think it was The Bachelor in another season. How many of you know the other minor league baseball player? I'm going to test your Bachelorette knowledge here. I'll reveal it down in the comments if nobody can get it. But first person to get who else was on The Bachelorette that was a former minor league player, I'll send you an autograph card. How's that sound? Of somebody out of my collection. Audie Santana, Nate Sampson, Cliff Anderson, Elvis Lara, Steve Vento, Zach Ashwood, Dylan Johnston. 
Billy Muldowney. There's a biggie if you're a Houston Astros fan. Forgot he was in this hit. Marwin Gonzalez. Here's another guy that spent some time in the majors. Blake Parker. Ryan Acosta. Desi Wilson. I believe he was up in the majors. Pitching coach Rich Bombard. Ming Sung, who I believe was the translator for Ray. And the following were unsigned. Todd Blackford. Uh, here's the other Korean player. Chin. I did not get the Chin card signed. Dustin Sasser. And Leon Johnson. I'm not really sure, but I didn't get Rhino to sign this one, but I probably probably could have. I guess I was just holding out for Leon to sign it, which I never got, but if you're a Ryan Sandberg collector, here's an oddball Ryan Sandberg card I bet you didn't know that he had. So if you buy this set, pretty easy to track down, you'll get actually two Sandbergs for the price of one, if you want to be technical. So very happy to have this set. Very surprised Josh Donaldson was as successful as he was. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Look forward to your comments below.